Well, hello, hello, hello. I love a blank sheet of paper. It, to me, it means there are great possibilities about to happen. I'm going to make an angelfish today. So come draw along with me. Grab your pencil, grab your paper, and let's go. The angelfish. The angelfish to me is very graceful going through the water. So I start with the mouth. I curve up for the head and make the body come back. I do the same thing below. I start where the mouth is and I begin to curve down, 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 down. Okay. The angelfish has uh, a really long fin that starts right about here and it curves under and keeps going. <laughs> it's really long, like almost like beautiful eyelashes. Okay. But right about here is where the rest of the body stops. Let me focus this camera so we can keep going. Okay. Sometimes it just needs some more color on the page for it to focus. All right, so uh, we'll make the body curve down and out like this. And we will do the same thing from the bottom, make it curve up. Um, it, we're leaving a space here for the tail. So let's start with the curve line that comes inward on the body a little ways. And then this tail is going to come past that line there at the top and go up. And this one is going to come past this line and go down. And then when we connect these, we connect with a curved line that's slightly curved, just like that. Okay. Like I said, it has lots of um, frilly fins that make it look just extra elegant. So I'm going to start right about here where the line started to dip down and I'm going to add another fin that comes down and not as far and comes up right under there. Okay, and right in front of this fin are two long whisker looking fins. So I'm just gonna make a curved line and it's twin and connect. And I'll do again, another curved line and it's twin and connect. Great. So this mouth, uh, let's extend the top lip. <laughs> I call it a lip, but do fish have lips? I don't know. And I bring it down, and then this bottom one, I'm just going to bring it up to connect right there. Cool. This fish has a really big eye right about here. So I'm going to add a circle and uh, a smaller circle inside. Yep, and then I'm going to make an even smaller circle so I can leave a shine. I love to leave a, I love to leave a shine on an eye. And just does it, does it, does it make it better? Yes, yes. For me, it does. It truly does. So the first stripe that this um, fish has comes right in front of its eye. It comes down. It just, it doesn't have to be a straight line. I, I'm, I'm going to make the stripe right there, and then. Um, one that starts right here where we started that extra fin um, along the top, along its back here. We are going to make this one um, come down and stop right behind the eye, right there. And the reason why it stops, because there's another fin here. This fin goes diagonal this way. Yes, it starts a little bit between where the eye is and where we made this line and comes up to a diagonal. And then uh, it continues down here and it's a very short line right here. So the top part of the fin is very long and the bottom part of the fin is very short and we'll just connect it with a straight line here. But when we connect it on this edge, it needs to be wavy. It needs to be some sort of a wavy line there. Uh, let's add some lines here on this fin and it seems to like fan out so the lines are really close together here, but further apart when you get to this part of the fin, of course, because this part is wider. 
So let's continue um, the line that we started here. It continues on beyond the fin and it comes down, down, down to here. Angelfish. Um, next, I'm going to add a stripe that comes in front of the tail. The tail is also going to have a stripe. So I'm just going to go with the curve of this, this back part here. Yes, tried to keep it similar. Ah, guess what? There's no wrong way to do it. So there we go. There's another stripe. And then um, along the back here, it seems to be another little area that of, of, it looks more like fins because we have these thin lines here all along here. In fact, we have something similar going on at the end of the tail, so I'm going to extend the tail and add another curve there and go ahead and put those in too. Try to make them spaced evenly, but it doesn't always work out that way. We just do the best we can. Uh, there's a stripe on this tail, and um, there we go like that. And another thin line there. Great. The um, fin here has some long lines that come along the length of the fin. So I'm putting them close together, as close as I can. Cool, huh? And so does this one. This one has a few lines that goes along along the length of it as well. And that, my friends, is an angelfish. I, I think it's a beautiful creature, um, and I think I want to add a few little um, extra things here. So um, my favorite is just to do some seaweed that looks like it's long. It's a wavy line that curves up and down, up and down like that. I'll add one there and then I'm going to add like a plant over here that has leaves that are different heights and around that center of that leaf it's going to be these wavy lines that make up this plant. This seaweed maybe? Yeah. wavy lines. Guess what? There's no wrong way to do seaweed. It's, got, it's going to look good. I, I'm going to even add some that are just like maybe some spiky sea urchins underneath here too. Just to fill extra space and have more things to draw, paint, or however I choose to finish this. There. Well, isn't that nice? You could add color or not, but I think I'm about to add color to this. So hold on for a second. I'll be right back. So I finished the background and I added blue with purple because I was thinking that I didn't want the water to look um, too light so I added purple to darken it a little and so now I'm going to I've wet the paper so that I can let the paint just flow into these you know I'm not making it a point to get every drop of color in the lines but you know I, I do want it to look nice so I wet the paper it helps the paint just move across the paper a lot easier and I just dip my brush in a little bit of paint and it spreads rather easily and then that also because it's really wet helps me when I want to add another color and so I want this to look more yellow greenish so I add a little bit of yellow when with the green that I have and there it's beautiful beautiful Yes, so I'm going to do sort of the same thing over here. 
and put some touches of yellow in along with the green to just make the green look more lively. Smaller brush here for my little, I guess, sea urchins. Yeah, so I'm going to make those red because I'm looking at pictures of angelfish on my cell phone and I'm thinking, I just, every, every time I've seen an angelfish that really I loved was black, white with a little bit of yellow. So that's where I'm going with mine. Black, white, a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to do the areas that are going to be white first. So I'm using the same technique of wetting my paper and keeping it, keeping it wet where I want to put um, paint. And because I'm adding water, it helps the paint spread a little bit easier, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to use a little bit of yellow um, in a few of the corners and let the color just go down. It's, it's white, it's got a little a few hints of yellow in here, and, and it's not super strong. The yellow is not super strong. Um, I'm gonna add purple too, just because oh, I, just, I just have a thing about purple. And you know, purple's not my favorite color, green is, but I'm gonna add just a little purple. Maybe I should use a smaller brush because it's grabbing too much liquid. And yeah, a little purple in there too. All right, the other areas are going to be black. And while I love black, black is one of those colors that just is so powerful. So I'm going to paint with the black on the fins where I want to see the black come in nice and strong. Yeah. And some areas I might paint with a lot more water so that it just doesn't look so harsh all over. I love painting. Painting um, relaxes me and it helps me um, lower my blood pressure <laughs> and just feel relaxed. I just do. I do, I do. Okay, there's a little puddle right here. I'm just going to spread that into this. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get the darker black and put it closer to the edges and see how it just comes on up in and bleeds in. That's pretty. Yeah. See how I give myself kudos when I'm painting? I'm like, yeah, that's pretty. You did a good job. You should. You should. Positive self-talk is good for the soul. So I'm talking myself up on this one. I really, really like how this is turning out. And um, the cool thing about drawing with crayon is it creates these little areas that um, keep the paint from mixing in. So the area that has just the purple and yellow for the whitish areas, they're not getting, um, the black isn't accidentally running into that area because it is contained by the crayon outline. So I draw nice and dark with crayon to make sure that is the case. I definitely do. So I'm making this part a little bit darker. What y'all think? I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. And painting is always fun. And if my colors abs accidentally mix, guess what? I'm not gonna have a fit. Watercolors are, are, are fun and watercolors are not uptight. It's, it's hard to paint with watercolors and get uptight because their their colors are are going to do pretty much what they what they can do and um, you can try to tell them to do things sometimes and sometimes they don't listen <laughs> they have a mind of their own and uh, that's okay too it's okay with me sometimes they they guide me in, in making things that I, I would I would have otherwise not have made. And, uh, oh, see there, a little black got in there, and I'm, I'm going to have to be okay with it. If, 
if it starts to look too bad and it's a lot a lot straining in there now I grab a tissue get just a little tiny corner of it and I just and it just drinks it up so that's not as bad as it was at first oh boy so um yeah this looks good I mean I'm, I'm, a, I'm excited about it I'm happy I'm pleased with it I'm very pleased with it and this is something that um, is fun to do and drawing this was fun and painting it was just as fun as well so um, come back and join me again and maybe we'll make some more cool things and so with with my fish friend we'll say bloop 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 and goodbye <laughs>